Here we go, out with the old. And in with the new, so you'll never see it this clean again. However, good afternoon everyone, and welcome back. Pretty crazy, we have traded our motorbikes in, both of them. So Dad got a new one, the same as this, two days ago, and then he organised it, he didn't actually tell me, I I just come up here to, to feed some calves, and Mark turned up with a bike on the back, and <laughs> sort of said to him, oh, what's that one? <laughs> Is he getting... Was he swapping his one out, but uh, he'd organised that this was the last bike in stock until November. So Dad just wanted to grab it now. Man, it is shiny though. It'd be a shame to get it dirty. The one thing I like about this is that it's just a true farm bike. Look at this, everything's... Everything is bendable, look at that, that's the gear lever and it f folds back so if you hit something. It's got a fuel reserve on it, which my old bike didn't. It's also got a switch here for the lights that comes factory whereas my last one didn't i think this might have a little bit bigger fuel tank too maybe i'll have to check out the specs these have been around for a while i think they started making them in the 90s and they sort of stuck with them like why change something if it isn't broke so they're made in japan and they're they're a real good farm bike oh, i put it on my instagram stories when we traded the other one through and most people sent through great comments regarding these. They, they were either strongly for these Suzukis, which most people were, and then there were a few people that liked the AG 200s, which are, uh, is a Yamaha. I found an article that actually said they like designed them at the end of the 80s. I think it was 89 up in Northland, and then they sent the plans over to Japan and then they sort of came up with that and they released in I think it was 95 or 96 and I don't think much has changed since there to be honest maybe it has I'm, I'm yeah not too sure but it'll be interesting to see how these go and obviously you wanted to make the switch why was that you've had Hondas for the last 30 years yeah I have yeah look maybe I just got annoyed and got a down to my bonnet or something or other but but we've only had these bikes for less than a week and probably the main benefits that I see at the moment are, and, and you're riding one, so you'll know, is that the seat's lower, so it's easy to hop on and off. Yeah, well, that's, it's interesting uh, you say that because, well, I had a look at the specs online, and it says that between the 190 and this, the seat heights are the same. But, yeah, it definitely feels way lower than this. Yep. I don't think they're as comfortable. I feel like the, the 190s were more comfortable to ride, and they have... They had a bit of turning circle, whereas these don't turn quite as sharp. No, they don't. These foot pegs are a bit higher, so your feet are off the ground, so they're not going to hit, hit things that come up. Yeah. Uh, another advantage on these, see the snail cam, when you're doing the, they've got numbers on them, so when you're tightening the chain up, this is just dead easy. You undo the nut and, and just put it around to whatever. It weighs, and if you come around this side, this chain guard is, is big, is a lot longer. Now, see all this? It was here, all the mud and whatever. Now the other one used to finish here, so all this mud would end up in the chain. And we used to have to take these sprocket covers over because they would pack up with pack up with mud around there. So that's a great thing. Another thing that annoyed me: why would you weld a foot peg onto onto the frame? See, these are bolted on. So when this pin goes and and the thing gets stuffed like the others, the springs were broken. You just if this um, yeah, gets that bad, you just unscrew it and buy another one. These these things have fold backs. Reserve switch. I like that on the tank, having a reserve instead of... Sure, you don't have a fuel gauge, of course. No, no. So you need it, but they're a big tank, but I suppose they're not as economical as the fuel injector. No, they're a... 190s. They're a 13 litre tank, whereas the 190s are a 12, so they're pretty much pretty much the same. Uh, I quite like the lights on these too. I think these lights are, are better. Yeah, well, they'd be twice the price. Yeah. Jeez. It's, I don't know, it just feels like a real farm bike. It is a bit of a shame. We've had Hondas for, well, you've had Hondas for the last 30 years. The, the bike you had before the last ones was a CTX 200, and they were a great farm bike. You had that for ages, 13 years. So, 13 years, yeah. So it well, stood the test the of time. Money, the, yeah, some wiring was going in it. So that's why we got rid of it probably, but yeah, it was a great bike. Yeah, and just these these new ones sort of didn't didn't sort of stack up. So, but I had a mate over last night, and he said he's got the 150, and, and they yeah they don't find any trouble with them. So maybe it's just a 190 thing. 
I'm not sure, but yeah, these, it's gonna be interesting to see how they go, but so far they've been brilliant. I've been riding around on mine for about three days and, and Dad's had his for a week, and so far so good. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what um, comments you get about other people that have got 190s around New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just don't think they're, I just don't think they're sort of, oh, it's hard to say, I don't really want to say too much, but it's, yeah, I just don't think they're, they need a little bit of work, let's just say that, they, they need a little bit of work put into them. They um, need to be made in the USA. Or maybe redesigned or something, but, yeah, we've, I mean, we've still got our Honda four-wheelers and, and we'll stick with them, with them, they make a good four-wheeler, they're probably one of the best on the market, it's just that one particular brand maybe that, or well, model, model, one particular model that sort of didn't cut the mustard. But yeah, so far so good. Dad also got these covers. They don't come with it. We sort of got them. Obviously, they're made up for Wilkes Penny, which is our local dealer. Did uh, you think I'd throw that in for free? Wouldn't feel with advertising like that written on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. It'll save a bit of scratching, and it's a little bit more comfortable on your legs. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, I, I definitely don't think they're quite as comfortable to ride around because you feel lower, your knees sort of, yeah, your yeah, knees are sort of higher. The foot pegs are higher and it keeps your feet off the ground. Yes. Which is which is a good thing. Yeah, and, and this, this... The seat goes up the tank a little bit more, which is also another good thing. And these, I feel like the handlebars are more straight too, like they're more straight across rather than sort of curved around, so... Not quite as nice to ride, but oh, well, you could probably bend them back down. You can, you can lower them. If yeah, you yeah, maybe. It's, yeah, I don't know, just a little thing. thing. No, I haven't used that, but I like it. I like having yeah, I know it. You used to, but you need to find neutral. Learn how to find neutral. Doesn't have indicators, but that's not a bad thing. I'm afraid. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I didn't realise because I, uh, I had, I was coming down the road before and I was playing with that and I. <laughs> The indicator light wasn't flashing on there. I thought that was a bit weird. But then just looking at it now, I couldn't see any indicators, so it makes sense. And, oh, there's a little toolbox in there, is it? Or a carry something? <coughs> I don't know. Are there oh, tools yeah. in there? Yeah, it looks like there is. Oh, yeah. Little tool kit. Oh, I've got to get it back in now. Cool, right. Home time. Uh, no, I've got to go and put some fences up. Uh, we're going to put those cows by the silage stack around that trough, probably. Uh, I'm not going to go give them the whole paddock. When we get a few less, they can come around all this grass down here. I suppose we're in shed. They actually make these models in black too, so instead of being white, they're just black. And I was quite keen to get one, but don't know when they were going to arrive. November. So, November, yeah, the next shipment was coming in November, but their mark said again. Sometimes they say they're coming and then they don't turn up or he's got a whole container of these ones coming and then they're all black, so um, yeah, not sure when it was gonna turn up. But would have been quite cool black. Just don't get quite it well they don't look quite as dirty. Anyhow, I guess it doesn't really matter. Right, I've got to go. They are a little bit more noisy, so I always feel when I'm leaving home in the mornings I don't want to wake the kids up. So I try and sort of push it as far as I can before I start it up. And these have also got a choke, which is just in here. So you're gonna pull that out like that. And then once it's going all right, just push it in. I didn't actually think I'd have to use it much, but I do, I pull it out every morning. They don't really like the cold starts. Only takes them sort of like a minute to warm up and then you're sweet as. But that's that. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they go. But first, first impressions are pretty good. So hopefully you like that bit of an update and that should wrap this video up. See you next time.